Good afternoon, Olin Lehman with KC Rod Vendors here in Kansas City, Missouri. We just got finished with a long overnight trip, followed right behind with a uh, half day trip, which doesn't leave Birdie and I long to figure out where fish are and kind of hone in our own skills. So this afternoon, it's June 27th, we did take a quick break, got out of the heat, got something to eat. Uh, it's about four o'clock on June 27th and we're gonna do a little bumping and try to locate some new bait fish that we can uh, catch while we're here in the river. But nonetheless, it's not too hot. It's about mid 80s. Water temperature is 81 degrees. Um, we have not had any rain in a while, so the river's just kind of hanging out around eight feet. But hopefully we can get into some fish this afternoon and y'all stay tuned. One of the things we get asked about all the time is what kind of areas are we looking for when we're just scouting for areas to bump. One of the things we look for is transition areas where the river's going from turning in one direction to the other direction. And we're always, always, always looking for humps on the sonar. So you can see nice big humps here. And what'll happen is those fish will get right behind those humps to get a little bit of break from the current. The bigger the humps, the better. This is one of our good areas. The other thing that you can look out for is you can actually, when you're riding down the river, you can actually feel the waves and it coincides with the ridges on the bottom of the river. But if you take a look ahead of us, you'll see where the river is about to make a bank to the right. And this is just a prime area where you're gonna have big ridges and you're gonna have a deep hole on that opposite side when it turns to the right hand over there. And a lot of fish like to hang out in those areas, especially after the spawn, when it gets hot like it is now. All right, we finally arrived at one of our favorite places to catch bait, because we can catch multiple species of bait here. Uh, you can catch gold eye, moon eye. Um, every now and then you can catch grass carp, but most rivers, Especially near cities have some sort of water treatment plant that lets out water, creates a little bit of an eddy, extra oxygen, those kind of things, and that's what bait fish like. Um, there'll be lots of minnows in here. You'll, you'll see the gold dye up chasing those. So basically what we have is we have just a little bitty, I'm trying to see if I can get it in the sun where you can see it. We just got a little section of worm with a, a number eight circle hook on it just some uh, pinch on lead and we're I don't know 18 inches deep and we're basically just gonna I just saw one actually right right here behind the boat so we're actually just gonna pitch this thing out 10 12 15 foot from the boat and then we're just gonna put it in the rod holder it's got that circle hook on there so they'll hook themselves and we're just gonna leave that there well, the other thing we're going to do is, typically if we're going to catch grass carp, uh, it's going to be right over here, right up under this foamy water. So I'm just going to, same same rig and setup, uh, and I'm just going to pitch it over here and kind of let that current take it out to us, and uh, we'll see what happens. I want to make sure and keep your slack up. So, just as we suspected, bait fish are definitely in the area. I don't know what I have, but it's big. One like a grass carp, broom, bull broom, something of that nature. We just pull and drag. Of course, I have him on a light, ult, light ultralight crappie jigging ride, so it at least makes it fun. I haven't eaten, there's the cork finally. Look, we have braid on. And then that little Yamagatsu number six or number eight circle hook. And this one doesn't want to come up at all. Whoa. Good 
just to make sure we have bait. I'm going to sneak up here and grab the net. You get it. Uh, actually, here, I'll just stand here and talk to y'all while Bertie goes and grabs the net. It's a pretty big grass carp that I got on here. And, uh, we've got gold eye or moon eye or something chasing the uh, bait fish back behind us, but nothing on those ports yet. And uh, I just threw this one right up in those rapids and hooked up with it. You can see he's, he's got that rod bent, bent over. Probably not gonna like it when he sees this net either. Hey, he is a good one, I guess. Yeah, he's not happy. Nope, I missed him. Birdie may have to net this guy. Take it. Here, I'll get the net to you. Yeah, yeah. Alright, I am going to let this fish go backwards. And we're going to let Birdie net this guy. Look at this rod, y'all. I mean, he is not want to give it up. I don't know how big he is, but we all have plenty of bait. <laughs> he literally does not want to give it up yet. There he comes. Nope. <laughs> he saw the boat and took off. He ain't that big. We call it bigger. I promise y'all we're gonna get this fish in. <laughs> and this is just bait fishing. Imagine what the fun is actually fishing fishing. I think I'm fishing to get him to come see you. I hope. I'm reeling down on him. <laughs> he is pissed. He will not come up. Not for real. I'm trying to, I promise. Uh, I'm trying to get this sucker to come on up and see us. Alright. He's pissed. Uh oh. Watch out. We got him, finally. That was <clears throat> an exciting fight. Look at the size of this guy in the grass cup. Raw bait. <laughs>